guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again and today I wanted to make a video a little bit different than uh, my channel is used to producing and it is a uh, movie review video and it's just based on my opinion. I decided to make this video because A, I used to work for the site imdb.com and I thought I, I have a wealth of knowledge to uh, share about movies. B, I'm a movie fanatic. C, I'm, in, I'm, I'm an actor. And, and D, uh, I had a lot of opinions about this specific movie and I'll tell you why. Um, so the movie is Dunkirk by Christopher Nolan. Uh, it just came out last week, last Friday to be exact. And actually I think it was two Fridays ago. I take that back, two Fridays ago. And um, I had very high expectations about this film, uh, partly because I'm a diehard Christopher Nolan fan. Uh, since Memento, and even before that he made a movie, I was, I'm a huge diehard fan of his. Uh, his story structures, which he writes with his brother and produces with his wife, are always, you know, pretty amazing. Uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, amazing. Uh, Inception, I loved. Uh, Interstellar I loved and now we get to Dunkirk and I'm making this video also because I posted this on a blog type setting before and I got a lot of hate for this and I wanted to see if you guys you know agree with my review anybody out there or, or uh, disagree uh, if you disagree that's fine uh, everybody you know has an opinion and you can share what yours is or isn't now for me, Dunkirk, I'm not going to give any spoilers here, I should have started out the video with that. Uh, if there's spoilers, it's nothing that you wouldn't have seen from the trailers. That's, I'll, that's the level of spoiler I'll give. Um, that being said, going in with this preface of you know me being a Nolan fan and having a high expectation, uh, there's a couple problems I had with the film. Uh, one, it was extremely short for a Christopher Nolan film. And to me, by the end of the film, I felt it was missing something. Like 25% of the film was cut out or missing. So that was kind of, you know, bothersome for me. It just didn't feel complete, like a finished product. Uh, two, the second problem I had with the film was that it, um, it had actors in it. Three to be precise, and I'm not going to spoil anything, you know. The guy from One Direction is in it, Harry Styles, but he's in it with a group of people and three of them look exactly like him. So there's a lot of confusion on which character is which. I mean, they look like triplets with him. Um, so that, the casting didn't make much sense to me. Um, another thing which is going to get a lot of hate, I, I guarantee, because I know this is one of the things that people got mad at me about, is I felt, so they said, during this war, and you can find this out without watching the movie, you can find this on Wiki, uh, 400,000 troops were needed to be evacuated uh, from Dunkirk. And in the film, they show like wide shots of the troops. And you can't see not one person of any other color than pale Caucasian white. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not going to, no one's not racist by any means, I'm not going to say that. He's, he's had, you know, people of different colors in his movies in the past, different racial backgrounds, but this film, everybody was like pale white, and people have been saying that's accurate of the, you know, history, but I actually looked it up, and there were uh, two squads, troops, of Indian, uh, not Native American, but from India, uh, troops who, who fought with uh, the British. Um, during Dunkirk, and they were there. So, I think they could have added bits of that, because it was just like a sea of white people. I mean, I'm not, I'm white too, I'm not trying to hate on, on white people, but that's, it just, it was a major point that was kind of odd to me. Um, so that being said, those were my issues. Uh, my major likes were the aviation scenes. I think it was m one of the most realistic aviation uh, Spitfire takes I've seen, Spitfire being the airplane that the British flew. Um, the, I'm not going to give away any scenes, there was one scene that was a little unrealistic towards the end, but otherwise the aviation scenes were great. 
dialogue I had an issue with. Uh, I, 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 don't, I didn't count the exact number, but there were maybe, and this is a mild spoiler, but it's not giving away much. There were maybe 10 lines of dialogue in the entire film, so it was mostly just visual and sound effects and like movements. That bothered me. Like I said, it felt like 75% of the film. It felt like Christopher Nolan made this as a favor for someone or for uh, someone from his history was an award. He wanted to make it as an homage. Um, but that being said, it felt like it was missing like another 45 to 30 minutes of dialogue or, or something. Um, so I gave it a rating. People thought it was harsh. I don't think it's harsh. Um, if it was a, a 1 being horrible to 10 being great scale, i give it a 7. I think that's decent. It's a little above average. It's not amazing, it's not groundbreaking like other Nolan films, but it's a 7. Uh, out of a scale of 1 being horrible and 5 being amazing, I give it like a 3.5, which, you know, equals a 7 when you do it to a 10 scale. Uh, and people have been giving me a lot of heat for it. Um, about all my critiques. So I wanted to know what you guys think. Uh, this is a new series. If you guys like this enough and we get enough views and likes, I'll, I'll make another one on any movie you guys choose that's new in the theaters. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this video. Um, give me any feedback. If you hated my opinion, hated the video, feel free to give it a thumbs down. Uh, please keep the comments, you know, PG. Don't, don't swear too much. Um, everybody has an opinion, like I said. If you liked the video and you liked my opinion, or even if you didn't like the, my opinion but you liked the video and the take of the series, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, so yeah, till next time guys, this is your friendly neighborhood Fun With AJ. Thanks for watching.